Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. You can subscribe down below. I'm so excited for this video. I love just OG YouTube videos of just showing things that are in your bag. So, did I just spoil the video? No, I didn't because the title already says it. I just got back from the Revolve summer trip last night. The vlog is already up or it will be coming up. I'm sure the vlog's already up actually. I thought it'd be really fun to kind of unpack my carry-on bag with you guys because I love watching videos like this. And I don't know, this is like my true what's in my carry-on because I'm, I'm a pretty seasoned traveler at this point. That sounded so flexy. I didn't mean it like that. But I have been traveling a lot this summer so I've kind of got down pat what I want my bag what I need my bag and we're just gonna see what's in here along the way I didn't clean out my bag because I love when people do that I love when they're just like let's just see what's in here because I got in from the airport last night so I thought this would be super fun so this is my carry-on bag usually I go for a backpack but since this is a more tropical vacation I was like I don't really need my backpack I'll just more do more of a tote bag so I recently purchased the Louis Vuitton Neverfull this is the MM one it's like the medium size I love it. I've had my eye on this for years. It's obviously a very timeless piece um, and I'm really happy I finally got it. It truly is never full. You can just constantly throw stuff in there and I just kind of like the look it gives. It's definitely really heavy. The one thing I don't like about it is like I'm so used to using my DC backpack all the time and I love it because um, it like evens out the weight distribution. Like this is very like uncomfortable and it's also very full because I had a lot of stuff in here. I do have a lot of stuff in here um, but it is really functional. It has lots of fun pockets in here. So. Without further ado, let's go into my carry-on. First up, we've got my phone. I I have the white, I've, I still have an iPhone 8. Um, I really don't wanna let go of my home button, but um, I actually just recently dropped my phone and like cracked this little part up here. So I know it's gonna have to happen soon. I just really, I'm waiting for September, I think, for the new iPhone to come out but it's gonna be a really sad day. Uh, and then I have this wildflower case. A lot of you guys always ask about it. I got it at the Indigo Child in Athens, but they obviously sell it online. Next up, this is something that I probably pull out like four times during my flight. Um, this is my little emergency essential oils kit. Um, it's from Sage Natural Wellness. This is the head soother kit and I kind of put some of the stuff in from it. I kind of made it my own though. There's some stuff from that set and then others not. I'm a big proponent of essential oils. I really believe in them. They really calm me down. Sometimes I just can't catch my breath or I get really nervous about something and I can't slow my breath down on my own. That is when I'll take out um, my Breathe essential oil and I'll put a little bit on my wrists or my temples or on my neck, wherever, or under my nose. I do a lot and it really calms me down. This is actually not from Sage. This is from doTERRA. The rest of the things are from Sage. Oh, it smells so good. It's like halfway through the flight, I can't relax or whatever maybe the saves lives. Next up, sometimes when I don't want to like, sometimes I feel like when I do the essential oils, other people can smell it. Some people, maybe it's too strong for them or whatever it may be. This is a soothing nasal inhaler in the scent Stress Release from Sage. And this is awesome. It literally looks like lip balm from afar. And all you do is it's got the essential oil inside and you just sniff it. So it kind of looks weird. It looks like you're just smelling your lip balm for a really long time, but it's a little bit more low key and it doesn't, you don't put out in your body. So if you don't want to smell like it personally and you just want to like get a couple, couple whiffs in, like this is awesome. It really relaxes me. I also have the stress release soothing face and body mist from Sage. This, I just literally go like this and it just instantly calms me down. I'll do that when I like first sit down on the plane before like the person next to me sits down. Um, I don't spray this as much because I don't like to spray things on the plane because like obviously we're all sharing the same air. Like I don't really want to interfere with anybody else's nostrils, but I do love this. Or like if right when I get off the plane, when I get in the bathroom, I'll spray that just kind of like refresh myself. It's really weird, but it's very, very helpful. Next up, we have a complete cookie. I have learned I can't go anywhere without knowing I have a backup snack on the off chance that I'm not eating for a while or someone else just ate and I didn't. I just, when I get hungry, I am hungry. So I love these. Lenny and Larry's Complete Cookies. Absolutely amazing. This is my favorite. This is just the chocolate chip one. They're 16 grams of protein, 10 grams of fiber, zero trans fat. They're vegan. There's no egg, no dairy, no soy. I mean, they're delicious and they're, all, they're guaranteed like super soft, like they're not crunchy. Or the worst is when you're asleep on the plane and they pass by with the snacks and you wake up and you missed your chance. That's so sad. And everyone's like eating their cheeses and you're like, <laughs> Another big essential, my Sony headphones are have become my new love on planes and just in general. They're just such great sound. I love them because they can be Bluetooth 
or they have a wire because on airplanes a lot of the times they'll have like movies available but you have to plug in earphones and everyone only has like airpods or bluetooth things now so these are awesome and you don't have to like charge them up a lot i have only charged them up once and i've had them for like two months and I don't think they lose battery when you plug them in. So I think that's why I like them a lot. And they're super noise canceling, like freaking awesome. I love them. Even if I don't listen to anything, I'll just put them on because I feel like the airplane air is very loud or the airplane engine, something's very, very loud and it's kind of annoying sounding. So it kind of blocks out a lot of noise, which I love. Got my computer. I got a new laptop case. I got this off Amazon. Um, yeah, I've got this random pouch of stuff. Stuff. I have lots of random pouches because it is a big tote bag So I do try to you know organize it a little bit I love to have gum on the airplane I'll usually just buy a pack of gum at the airport and it'll last me to like the next time I travel or whatever um, But my ears do pop as we're going up or we're descending because um, it's great to like Chew gum like that. I don't know. It's really weird, but you guys know what I mean hand sanitizer I can't even tell you guys how many times this has come in handy if you're traveling or if you're in the car I don't know there's just or like if you're on the plane and you like hadn't washed your hands and you're going to eat your snack and I'm not really a germaphobe but there's just times that this has come in so much handy so I always have hand sanitizer this is one of those slip scrunchies so it like doesn't crease your hair I have some super goop sunscreen this is because I was in Mexico so probably don't need this anymore Mophie rechargeable battery because you never know when you need to recharge your phone and then a random lip product is in here I've got my book. I've been reading this book all summer. I'm on like chapter 13. We're going slow, um, but it is really good and I love reading it on the plane. It's called When Life Gives You Lululemons. I'm still not done. I better be done by the time school's over, or school starts because that's an issue. I've got my little pouch that comes with my DC backpack actually. This is like my meds pouch. Yeah, my meds pouch, you know what I mean? I've got this mini bottle. It says Zyrtec, but it just has a ton of Advil in it. Um, and then I also have some lip balm, the Laneige lip mask, but sometimes I'll also put like vitamin C pack, it's like emergency in here, or um, just different things like that. I have an eye mask, because I have learned that these things actually work. Why did I just do that? I have makeup on, that was so dumb. But yeah, Benefit actually sent me this one, and it's so cute. I have this super cute scrunchie from the new Shaycation 4 Revolve line. How cute is that? It just looks good on the wrist. Got my wallet. <laughs> oh, here come the random papers. Something from Custom. A boarding pass in the smaller pocket in here I've got these sunglasses these are my favorite sunglasses to travel in because I usually I don't really wear makeup when I'm traveling unless I'm like landing somewhere and going somewhere right away these are my Celine sunglasses you guys always ask about them they are worth the investment I think they're like 200 300 dollars I don't remember but I've had them forever they're such good quality and they just they're great like travel sunglasses you know like a gal on the go <laughs> I also have a little bag of Ollie um, sleep vitamins like um, melatonin basically the melatonin gummies just in case I can't fall asleep or if I'm trying to adjust to a new time zone or I want to sleep on my flight got these I have another pair of sunglasses I have my black Ray-Ban aviators I've just got sunglasses and lip products everywhere what's really cool at Louis Vuitton never full I didn't realize it comes with this extra little pouch that disconnects if you want so it can be like a little clutch for the night it's so helpful it's kind of like my purse in my purse so this is where I put my wallet in I've got my passport in here, I've got my um, AirPods, another boarding pass, I have a perfume, a natural perfume called, it's in the scent Yoga and it's also from Sage, it smells really really good. I've got a Laneige face mask, like a moisturizing leave-on leave mask, I guess that's what it's called, um, if my skin feels dry. I've got a spoolie or whatever this is called because I get my lashes lifted and tinted, I don't wear mascara. So sometimes I just like to have that so I can do more. And I also have these. Everyone always forgets that you can't use AirPods um, on the plane. So I always have these in case someone else needs them or if I don't want to like pull out my full on, you know, headphones. These are like the auxiliary jack so they work. Yeah, that is everything that is in my carry-on. I hope you guys found that some sort of interesting. I know I'm about to go back to school, but I know a lot of you guys don't go back to school till like the end of August, early September. I envy you. I'm also excited to go back to school, but like, you know what I mean? It's like a bittersweet situation. But 
yeah, I feel like this would still be helpful. If not, I hope you enjoyed just looking at what's in my bag. I'm obviously gonna be doing, you know, what's in my backpack when school starts and everything like that. But yeah, leave your video comments, video comments, obviously leave your video comments down below, but also leave your video requests down below because I don't know, I hope you guys are still liking my videos. I'm still enjoying making them, but I'm like, someone commented the other day that all my videos are the same and I was like, hmm. So I wanna make sure that you guys are still enjoying the content. So definitely leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys very soon for our next video. Bye-bye.